Plastic surgeons Terry Dubrow and Paul Nassif are one of television's favorite bromances, and today the doctors are joining us live. But first, let's take a quick peek at their new season of Botched. You got a little goiter going. Your, your oh, thyroid's right. a little swollen. Oh, is it? Yeah. I know that's not what you're here oh. for, no. but I just want to mention that to you. Okay. That's true. Despite the way he looks, Paul is actually a really smart, astute clinician. And that pickup of the thyroid is an important part of Samantha's assessment and potential future treatment. I love you guys. Welcome back to DBL Doctors. Now, before we get into it, you guys, I want to know if you listened, hey, to our previous segment, because we continued the conversation in the commercial break about whether or not cheating could help a relationship. What do you guys think? Yeah, no way. Uh, what are they smoking? Because I want some of it. No chance. Okay. I think that's the most ridiculous thing in the world. They should not be giving advice to anybody. Right. Okay. So before we get to botch, we have to, we have to also ask you. I just uh, wish they had a stronger stance. Thanks. I know. You know they belong in the panel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, we we say it how it is. I love well, it. That's what we talk like about, it. you guys. You say it how it is. You also are both deep into the Real Housewives as insiders. So can you tell us who you think might need to be one of your patients on an episode of Botch, or at the very least, which franchise could use your Ooh. help? Rumor has it that he has had so much plastic surgery on this season of Botch that he's actually applying to be the new housewife on Real Housewife of Beverly Hills. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's working. We, we think they all look great. Good answer. And we're here for any of them if they ever need us. Okay. All right. There you go. Now that we're ending, we're, we're going to be very, we're, we're going to be Switzerland here on this. That's smart. And Too by the way, there is no other bromance that's nothing. We are the best in the world. This is the best bromance. I don't know. You, you, guys gotta stick her, you guys gotta stick around and listen to me and Al because we're a close second. Yes. <laughs> we're a close second. We're your apprentices. Oh. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys, let me get to my question. You know, the pandemic, we're coming out. The masks are slowly starting to come off. People are getting a good look at themselves in the mirror. What's a popular treatment that people are getting right now? So, a lot of people are doing string lifts. They're putting strings in, they're supposed to absorb. Don't do that. They don't work. What? And if they work, they only work for a few weeks. Stick with the true and tested procedures and go to doctors who are board certified. But, but I also answer about what people are doing. You know, everyone's looking at Zoom, everyone's looking at their face. So I gotta tell you, we're seeing a big influx because we do first time surgery of the face a lot of upper eyelid surgeries, a lot of neck lift, a lot of faceless because of tech neck, staring down all the time. Oh. So we're seeing a lot of that, especially everyone's leaving the house. More Botox, more fillers, more into our spas. It's happening everywhere. That's cool. Well, it's good to see people taking care of us, taking care of themselves. Now, Dr. Nassif, I got to ask you a question. Now, a lot of people want to look like their favorite celebrities, of course. But is there one celebrity that people most want to look like or like traits of celebrities that people most want, like Kim's butt or what? Roger Federer's calves? Oh, you don't think people want that, Sam? I didn't expect that from you. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that. Look at that. those are great calves. Actually, I have calves just like that. I will tell you, five, six years ago, we had a lot of those inquiries. Now what's happening is, in our mind, we feel that everyone is using all the filters Ooh. and making their own changes, Ooh. coming to our offices and saying, can you make this? What? So make my nose like this, make my cheeks like this. And actually, sometimes, sometimes it's valid. Other times, it's called selfie dysmorphia. Mm. I'm personally not seeing a lot of Patients come in with different celebrities uh, body parts. Anymore. I see them say, I don't want to look like this celebrity body part now. Oh. What are you drinking? It's like bright blue. I got to drink a, a gallon of this every day. That's again why, you know, I look so good in felt. I lost about a good 20 He's pounds. had so much what plastic surgery, he's aging in reverse. <laughs> That's okay. water. It looked like a water. potion. Well, Sam, they, they're able to color the bottle. Well, it and looks water like a potion. takes the color of whatever oh. it's in. <laughs> He's such a, I won't even use that. <laughs> Dr. Durow, you guys can probably spot a botched job from a mile away, but for the folks at home, what are some telltale signs of when the basics go wrong, like bad Botox, bad fillers? 
First of all, if it doesn't look like it exists in nature, mm. it doesn't. That's a sign that something's wrong. Also, if there's a spaceship in the back parking lot, it means they flew in from another planet. It's not natural <laughs> plastic surgery. Look, good plastic surgery is invisible, right? You shouldn't be able to see, you know, a syringe hanging off the side of the face or a scalp. Well, in this case, obviously, you can see a little bit of it, but, you know, it should just look totally natural. I love look it. Look at his face after he's saying, yep. listen, we're going to get back to the bromance a little bit. What do you guys, what really gets on your nerves about each other? I know you guys crack jokes on TV. We all see it. We love the relationship. But what really irks you about each other? Well, but before we answer, I want to say something. This is not on TV. This is 24 hours a day for mm. 21 years. <laughs> this guy will text me in the middle of the night on something stupid insulting me. It's always <laughs> been like that. So, I mean, it never stops. Right, to, stop. to answer your question, it's the constant zhuzhing. It's right. the constant, oh, do I need a little more of this? Uh-oh, there is a wrinkle that has invaded my forehead. Emergent Botox, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that. The, the honesty, though, is what makes you guys, guys great. Talking, yeah, well, well, I mean, I don't know about your relationship, oh. but uh, the thing it makes, uh-oh. Oh, we were as one I another? guess the big question I have. Oh, I used to sit next to Jeff, yeah. and because of the pandemic, they've separated us. But Jeff used to eat a banana daily, and let me tell you, the, the noise that would come from you smacking on a banana <laughs> used to irk me. Luckily, we're out of time. Okay. <laughs> Since we're going there, there might be a little odor issue after eating with this oh. one. We, that. we understand. He took it a step further. Yeah, he did. And believe me, Jeff has a laundry list of things that bug him about me. So thank you, Doctors Nassif and Dubrow. We adore you guys. Thanks for being here today. Make sure, DBL Nation, to check out the new season of Botch tomorrow on E! We'll be right back.